owe to you. O oh, you, your wooden, wondrous doors, a soothing, calming force, outstretched arms that envelop us in a tight embrace, you with your willing, welcoming face, a living, lasting, loving invitation to partake of God's grace. Yes, you, more than a structure of steel and stone, you are our touchstone. Time and again, you marked every milestone. How much we have grown from hopeful beginnings to bittersweet partings. For generations, every celebration, relentless reminder that we are not alone. Only you, our calm in the midst of the tempest. Every trial, every test, every evil we detest. Always, always, you give our tired souls some rest. You shelter and comfort us. You, our gathering place in a gathering storm. Your wonders never cease. You bring us peace. Simply you, who are gifted to give. You who make our humble service live. You who inspire. You who light the fire to help out those in dire need. Indeed, our spirits you feed with a love like no other. Each and every sister and brother you bring us together. Today, tomorrow, and forever. Now you, calling out, with a silent shout you ask to be heard. You need help to be able to help. Will our blessed brethren heed your call and listen? You are refuge. You are strength. You are sanctuary. Thank you. Santuario de San Antonio.
Please rise for the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now not there for that. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now not there for death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now not there for death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord, Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be, world without, and amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good evening. We welcome you as we celebrate the Eucharist today, Wednesday of the 20th week in Ordinary Time. Our presider is Father Marloe Rosales, OFM. Please join in singing our entrance hymn. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to all sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, you who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see. Fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. In these words, prophesy to them. Thus says the Lord God, Woe to the shepherds of Israel who have been pasturing themselves. Should not shepherds rather pasture sheep? You have fed off their milk, worn their wool, 
and slaughtered the fatlings, but the sheep you have not pastured. You did not strengthen the weak, nor heal the sick, nor bind up the injured. You did not bring back the stray, nor seek the lost, but you lorded it over them harshly and brutally. So they were scattered for the lack of a shepherd and became food for all the wild beasts. My sheep were scattered and wandered over all the mountains and high hills. My sheep were scattered over the whole earth with no one to look after them or to search for them. Therefore, shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. As I live, says the Lord God, because my sheep have been given over to pillage and because my sheep have become food for every wild beast for lack of a shepherd, because the shepherds did not look after my sheep but pastured themselves and did not pasture my sheep. Because of this, shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, I swear, I am coming against these shepherds. I will claim my sheep from them and put a stop to their shepherding my sheep so that they may no longer pasture themselves. I will save my sheep that they may no longer be food for their mouths. For thus says the Lord God, I myself will look after and tend my sheep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness will follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. To honor the Holy Gospel, please rise. Altogether, the Word of God is living and effective, able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. Be with you and with your spirit from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, You too, go into my vineyard, and I will give you what is just. So they went off. 
And when he went out again around noon and around three o'clock and did likewise, going out about five o'clock, he found others standing around and said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You go, you too go to my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Summon the laborers and give them their pay beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also got the usual wage. And on receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last ones work only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who bore the day's burden and the heat. He said to them in reply, My friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. And if I wish, what if I wish this last one the same as you? Or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I am generous? Thus, the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Are you envious because I am generous? Good evening, brothers and sisters. Good evening. Today, the gospel is telling us that in the kingdom of heaven, we are to celebrate God's generosity, God's goodness, His mercy and compassion. Remember, we are to celebrate, not you or me alone or some people, but we share in the same generosity of God's in the kingdom. My dear brothers and sisters, if that is the case, if that will be in the kingdom of heaven, then it is a challenge for us, this, while living in this world, to celebrate, to share with others God's goodness in the blessings they have received. We should not be envious of what they have. We learn to appreciate, share the joy with them on God's blessings for them. And that it is our, our choice to be with them in, share, in, in celebrating God's goodness. We attune ourselves where we are in this world into that celebration. May we not fall, fall into that, the, same, the same disposition of those who work, who those, of those who grumbled against the landowner. We appreciate God's bless, blessing in us. May we also appreciate God's blessings in others. God's ways are not our ways because His justice and generosity exceed our standards. We can come to Him in prayer knowing that He listens and that He will not fail us. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church, through its missionaries and preachers, may proclaim the Lord's Gospel with courage and perseverance 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may serve the Lord and one another without expecting merits and rewards, but out of the generosity of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those unemployed may find work soon. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the suffering may be comforted by the compassion and understanding of their family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we ourselves in our parish and community commit to pray for our brothers and sisters in areas ravaged by war, natural calamities, and the COVID pandemic. We beg that they be given the grace to cope, to heal, and to be strengthened by their deep faith in our loving God through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, Queen of Peace and Families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have zealously worked in this life may receive their due reward in God's heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us pray for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord our God, we are your humble servants, and we serve you as best as we can, although we owe, you owe us nothing. But we know that you are near to us, and that you bless us with every good thing on account of Jesus our Lord. Amen. and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. 
And so, with all the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are, are full, full of, of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and from by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on, earth on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as, as we, we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray.
made partakers of Christ through this sacrament, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Please join us for our Mother of Perpetual Health prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for our needs and worthy children that we are. Let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this, you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have sinned against our brothers and sisters? We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Novena Prayer Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, from the cross Jesus gave you to us for our mother, you are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son. Strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always loved others so much Help us to do the same while praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena. We earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and the unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, lighten the burden of the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended Him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your powerful help. Amen. Prayer for the home. Mother of perpetual help, we choose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor, 
so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of humankind. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin conceived without sin, pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Help, pray for us. We sinners call to you, loving Mother, help us. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit loving and become Mother, courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men. Loving Mother, help us. That we may be more and more like our Divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, help us that we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving Mother, help us. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, help us. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, help us. That we may pray daily with love and trust especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, help us. That we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, help us. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, help us. That we may strive to be true Christians by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, help us. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother, help us. That we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, help us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interest at the expense of others. Loving Mother, help us. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in a spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, help us. To pray that the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis the bishops and the clergy. Loving Mother, help us. That we may be blessed with an increase of priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, help us. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know him. Loving Mother, help us. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, help us. That we may die at peace with Christ and our fellow men. Loving Mother, help us. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, help us. To pray that our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your Son's resurrection. Loving Mother, help us. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions. Loving Mother, help us. Holy Mary, help us in our needs. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience your perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Thanksgiving prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and do penance for them. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well so that through them we may grow in love for Him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of His love to save us in all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession and especially through the novena inspire us to greater confidence in God's loving mercy and her perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in his love. To the most holy trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Let us pause for a silent prayer. Prayer for the sick. Lord Jesus Christ, 
you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayers for the sick. Grant that those who are weighed down with pain and other afflictions of illness may realize that they are among the chosen ones whom you call blessed. Help them to understand that they are united with you in your sufferings for the salvation of the world. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. 